Okay, good morning guys. Today, we are going to discuss overview of strategic management module 1. So, what is strategic management? Uh, according to Fred R. David, which is the author of the book that we are going to use, Strategic Management Concept and Cases, uh, strategic management can be defined as the art and science of formulating, implementing, and evaluating cross-functional decisions that enable an organization to achieve its objective today. The of this is to exploit and create new and different opportunities for tomorrow. Long-range planning, in contrast, tries to optimize for tomorrow the trends of today. According to Investopedia, it is the management of an organization's resources to achieve its goals and objectives. It also involves setting objectives, analyzing the competitive environment, analyzing the internal organization, evaluating strategies, and ensuring that management rolls out the strategies across the organization. There is two different approaches when it comes to strategic management. The first one is the prescriptive approach, wherein it outlines on how strategies should be developed, while the descriptive approach outlines or focuses on how strategies should be put into practice. So according to Wikipedia, uh, strategic management involves the formulation and implementation of the major goals and initiative taken by the organization's manager on behalf of stakeholders based on consideration of resources and an assessment of the internal and external environment in which the organization operates. For me, uh, this subject Strategic management is important because when we start a business, we want to value what we invest. So we need to strategize with every courses of action we have in every area of organization. So strategizing the operation, accounting, finance, human resource, sales, marketing, research and development is a must. So for me, uh, strategic management have a wide perspective for the business. Uh, it, it has a comprehensive analysis. Uh, when you start uh, using this, this one, so strategic management, we must be a team player. We must adapt to all hierarchy of business. We must be a strategist and we must be a leader. So, what is the difference between the strategic planning and strategic management? Uh, when we say strategic planning, uh, this one was originated in 1950s and was very popular in the mid-60s and 70s. Uh, strategic planning was cast out during 1980s. So, there is a revival and practice in the 90s and is widely practiced today in the business world. Strategic planning only involves strategic evaluation. Strategic plan results from top managerial choices among numerous good alternatives and it signals commitment to specific market policies, procedures, and operation and others less desirable courses of action. So what about strategic management? Uh, this one is often used in the academic world, so it was popularized during 1990s. Uh, it is dedicated for strategic formulation, strategic implementation, and strategic evaluation. Strategic management is used at many colleges and universities as the subtitle for the capstone course in business administration business policy which integrates materials from all business courses. There are key terms that we need to remember on the study of strategic management. The first one is the competitive advantage, strategies, mission and vision statement, external opportunities and threats, internal strength and weaknesses, long-term objective, strategies, annual objective, and policies. So this one is a strategic management comprehensive model 
uh, prepared by Fred R. David. So, we need first to develop vision mission statement. We need to perform external audit. We need to perform internal audit. We need to establish long-term objectives and generate, evaluate, and select strategies in order to create a strategy for relation. Also for him, we need to implement strategies management issues. We also need to implement strategies marketing, finance, accounting, research and development, and MIS issues in order to create strategy implementation. And the last part is to measure and evaluate performance in order to create a strategy evaluation. So this one is a strategic management model, but during the strategic planning, it is only the one that uh, they need to create. It was during 1950s up to 1980s. The strategic evaluation only for the strategic planning issues. So there are two different benefits when it comes to strategic management. So they are divided into financial benefits and non-financial benefits. The financial benefits, strategies using these concepts are more profitable and successful than those that do not. It improves sales and profitability and productivity compared to firms without systematic planning activities. High-performing firms tend to do systematic planning to prepare the future fluctuation in their internal and external environment. Firms with planning system are more closely resembling strategic management theory, generally exhibit superior long-term financial performance relative to their industry. For the non-financial benefits, usually those are tangible benefits such as enhancement and awareness of external threats, uh, it is an understanding of competitive strategies, increase employee satisfaction, reduce resistance to change, and a clear understanding of performance reward relationship. Firms that nurture this man their managers and employees shared organizational objective with them, empower them to help to improve product or service, and recognize their contribution. Strategic management also may renew confidence in their current business strategy and may point to the need for corrective actions. So, let's discuss why strategic planning uh, casts out on, on the field of business. So, using strategic planning only to gain control, decision, and resources. Doing strategy planning only satisfy accreditation or regulatory requirement. Too hastily moving from mission development to strategy formulation, failing to communicate the plan to employees so continue working in the dark. Top management are making many intuitive decisions that conflict with the formal plan. Top managers is not actively supporting the strategic planning process. Failing to use plan as a standard for measuring performance. Um, delegating planning to a planner rather than involving all managers. Failing to involve key employees in all phases of planning. Failing to create a collaborative climate support of change. Viewing planning as unnecessary or important. Becoming so engrossed in current problems that insufficient or no planning is done. Being so formal in planning that flexibility and creativity are stifled. So these are the pitfalls why strategic planning are not used now in the business. Instead, they change it into strategic management. So... There is a guidelines for effective strategic management. The first guidelines is you need to make the process simple and non-routine as possible. Uh, there is a need for open-mindedness, a willingness, and eagerness to consider new information, new ideas, and new possibilities from your stakeholders. Strategic decisions have to be made to eliminate some courses of action 
the positive affirmation of allocating organization resources, among others. We need to enhance effective decision that will suffice the organization, maximization of profits, and shareholders' equity. So that's it for the strategic management. So this is the end of our discussion. And I hope you learned from me. Again, this is Module 1 of Strategic Management. Bye-bye!